Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am going to explain about digital clocks and how they work. A digital clock, such as this one, is a clock using a format that involves changing numbers instead of moving hands, like an analog clock. Digital clocks are becoming more and more common. You can see them in a lot of different places besides your home. Like usually you might think of a digital clock as being in your bedroom on your nightstand, but you can also see them in places where you may expect to see analog clocks like in schools, in hallways and classrooms. A lot of people think digital clocks are better than analog clocks because they can display the time easier, they're easier to learn. Uh, since they don't have hands, we have to learn their positions relative to particular times. But without further ado, I am going to tell you all about digital clocks. Analog clocks, as we know them today, have been around since the 17th century. Digital clocks have only been around since the mid-1950s. The first digital clock was invented in 1956 but it used an electromechanical system to display changing numbers. The numbers would flip. There were no electronic displays back then. However, by the 1960s, I'm guessing that by the late 1960s, seven segment displays, probably first utilizing LED technology, were developed, and this made the, co the clocks more compact in addition with the introduction of solid state components such as the integrated circuit and transistor. In 1970, the first digital wristwatch, which used an LED display, went on sale. And then by the 1980s, digital clocks were more and more popular in the home. In addition, because of how compact they were, they were incorporated into many common household devices such as microwave ovens, television sets, radios, and computers. Now, you may ask, how does a digital clock work? I can tell you that the workings of a modern digital clock are very complicated. Most digital clocks run on regular AC current and they utilize a 50 to 60 hertz oscillator circuit which keeps the time. But for clocks that operate on a battery system like a wristwatch, a special crystal such as quartz is used and it generates oscillations at a very very high rate to keep time, and this is generally more accurate. Now, digital clocks are usually easy to set, like this one. You just hold down the set button, and the respective time unit will flash, in this case, the hour. And you would use these buttons to flip through. You can hold the button down on this clock to cycle through quickly. And you got to keep in mind that on many clocks, only either an AM or a PM symbol is displayed, not both. So you have to be careful and make sure that it is either morning or afternoon when you are setting the clock. Same with if you're setting the alarm. But right now it's like 1232 PM. And then you would hit the set button again to change the minute. And again, you can cycle all the way through. Just leave it at 1233. Now this particular clock also has the date. You have the year, the month, and the day. And note that the day of the week is also displayed. And then when you hit the set button again, you're good to go. Now, if you want to set the alarm, you would hold down 
the alarm button, and then you would uh, push it twice, and then the digits will start flashing to indicate uh, whether you're changing the minute or hour. And then after you push the, uh, after you're done setting the alarm, you would hit the alarm button again and the alarm is ready. On the back of this clock is a switch that allows you to switch the alarm on and off and you can know whether it's set on or not do, uh, with the bell symbol at the top. I'm just going to leave it off. And you can, on this particular clock, you can adjust the brightness of the display. You may want bright or you may want dim, especially in a dark room. Now, back then, digital clocks were more basic. They didn't have features such as being able to select the time zone you're in or daylight savings. If daylight savings time was here, which it isn't yet, I would just... uh flip the switch and there it is. Now, most digital clocks don't have a built-in memory, so if they are unplugged or the power is cut off, even for a brief second, you'll have to reset the clock. A lot of digital clocks will return to 12 a.m. That's their default time and they'll be flashing when, you, when the power is restored. However, to reduce this problem, lots and lots of newer clocks especially have a battery system which will maintain not only time settings but also alarm settings as well because if there's a power outage at night the alarm may not go off if you had it set to wake you up so if i unplug the clock and then i uh, plug it back in you still have the current time and date the alarm setting is also the same, and you can know what time it is you set the alarm for by hitting the alarm button once, and then hit the time set button to go back to the regular time. Many digital clocks, especially ones built into electronic devices such as your smartphone, your computer, or your tablet, as well as many bedside clocks like this one, this one is not automatic, but many of those will sync with an atomic clock via a radio, satellite, or computer signal. Some clocks also have a built-in quartz oscillator, crystal oscillator, that is powered by a rechargeable battery set at the factory. And that way, when you first plug the clock in, depending on your time zone, you may not have to set it yourself. I noticed that in applications where the clock is not a big priority, such as in kitchen appliances, you'll have to reset it manually. In addition, in a lot of vehicles, like the one I drive, you still, even though it's relatively modern, you still have to adjust the clock yourself for daylight savings time. And I think if the car battery is changed, then you have to reset it. Digital clocks come in all different sorts of designs. I know there are ones that actually project the time out into the room on the wall or the ceiling. And I know that there are even clocks that display in binary format. So it's interesting how sophisticated they have become. And like I said earlier, it seems like fewer and fewer people, especially of the younger generation, know how to read an analog clock. So that's why digital clocks are becoming more and more common. And I find that sad personally, because when growing up, I looked at analog clocks all the time when I was at school, especially. And now I'm going to uh, just show what would happen if there's a power outage and there's no backup battery. Go back to the time. If I unplug the clock, even for a brief uh, second, you have to reset it. The default time is 3 a.m. January 1st, 2013. Thank you very much for watching this video on all about digital clocks.